Most people shoot their pictures with conventional cameras and film. But now with digital cameras, you can actually store those images with removable memory cards like this, or on the hard drive, or even on the internal memory of the camera. You just connect the camera to your computer, download the images you want, and voila, you've got pictures. Hey, I'm hit! Let's go! Himself said, I want their bodies. Bring me their bodies. Everything's about body count. Right? He said, Man, this is his oldest custer. By the sky route, they swiftly transported troops and equipment, running fleets of air transports. They seized all the good airports, fatal handicapped to the Allies. right now. And yeah, I'm uh, glad and early. Super hot and humid, but gotta get it done. Hell yeah. We're in the same general area, so I need to get a cow to get up there. So what happened to you today? Just a boo-boo. Uh, I don't, I don't want uh, I don't want any more combat. It was both an homage to Marie but an homage to journalism and an homage to people who are out there fighting for the truth and you know, shedding light on, on dark corners of the world. Whatever the rights and wrongs of a conflict, I feel we fail if we don't face what war does, um, face the human horrors, rather than just record who won and who lost. Bad guy or not. We were smoking for high and more looks like, man, you know, we straight murdered that dude. Why am I the only one that's not okay with this? Why is it just me? People don't turn against war because they see casualties. People turn against war because they see those casualties as futile. That trust is well placed. The enemies you confront will come to know your skill and bravery. The people you liberate will witness the honorable and decent spirit of the American military. The commanders in Vietnam, the men who must decide when ordeals must be born, look at the ordeal at Contien from a different vantage point. We talked with General William Westmoreland, commander of American ground forces, and Lieutenant General Robert Cushman, who commands the Marines there. But look, sure. this psychologically is a victory for the United States in a, in a, in a uh, campaign where, for the last year or so, there's been very few. Uh, because if we removed this guy. I mean, if you remember, before the war, in the run-up to the war, he basically gave the middle digit to us and the whole world, saying, I do what I want. There have been some questions from outside and in your own command structure, all the way down to some privates I met on Kantian about the defense of that outpost, and some who perhaps aren't as confident as the general may be. What is it about war movies that drive you the most crazy? The fact that almost everything in them is inaccurate. No! 
Come back on the trigger. Copy that. There they go. Rounds in the area. Good shots. The camera surveys the naval battle at Narvik and the wrecks of the Nazi craft that were...